Yeah, she's doing okay. Okay, I'm kind of well. No, I wouldn't even go to. Hi, sir. Watch your language. We have been as Just for about a minute, not even a minute. It's before we kiss. Everything's okay. You're not live. Okay? We're not live. <laughs> Get share. Get share. Everybody wants to turn. That's right. Roy, you may know that won't say that. Yeah, yeah. No, they Ladies and gentlemen, I have six o'clock. I don't know. Meeting of the Roger Hill Waterfish. And the first order of business will be the April 10th minutes. Any corrections or additions? I'll make a motion to approve it. Have a motion to your second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. And I'm going to ask, I'm going to address the action items. In my presentation. Uh, financial report on the first uh, first page is uh, a uh, uh, report on overtime for the you know, for the months. Uh, we had 55 hours of overtime. Most of that was spent on the screen down the sewer plant. Uh, we. We're still having trouble with it. Uh, it's it's running better. We're, we're 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 trying to keep it running, but that 55 hours was a, a lot of it attributed to that piece of equipment. Okay, number one, your your uh, report number one is the uh, month by month uh, 
financial report. Broken down, this is a 90,000 foot level. And you can see on page four or four that we did better in April. We were $3,132 in the red. Still in the red. For the year, we're $65,000. $793 in the red. If you go on down to second report, it takes you down to uh, uh, the next level for revenue. Um, this is revenue for the year, fiscal year. And we're at 80%, uh, 80.43%. 80 about where we should be on revenue. Uh, Persia has been uh, uh, averaging maybe seven or eight thousand dollars a, a month. three reports is a little is a little lower level on expense it's at the uh, cost center level for the fiscal year expense is 83 percent 83.1 percent so our expenses exceeded our revenue A lot of those expenses were in water water plant repairs. Uh, repairs <coughs> are this water department to turn turn turned into a repair shop in, in actuality. We repair our equipment, we repair water lines, we repair sewer lines. But we're gonna have to turn that around and get them off the repair get new lines and get new sewer lines. New water lines will help us on, over time it'll help us on, the roads are tore out all, all through pieces. Uh, in, in some cases, uh, they've got multiple uh, patches, you know, you can go 15 or 20 feet and there's another patch. Those need to be evaluated and redone the entire line. And so, We've got to turn it around to where we're not a fix-it shop. We've got to make we got to make improvements, and I, I covered that uh, in the ten-year plan. The next uh, number four is uh, a comparison between 2018 and 2019 or 2017. Our income, our revenue was uh, 217,000. 359 and in 2017 it was 209-112. So uh, we, our income was a little bit more than it was in 2017. Uh, but our expenses uh, for 2018 have so far are 220,490, or I'm sorry, for this month, 220,490. And last year it was 209,980. So that's a comparison between this year and last year on the month. Then the rest of the financial report, uh, I'll let you all look at it at your leisure, but it's down to the uh, one foot level. We went from 90,000 feet down to one foot. This is your checks. Uh, and it's all the checks that were written uh, this month. Uh, this is information that you need to do your job to verify the financial report, financial situation. Is there any question on the financial report?
question. Okay, the policy, um, leak policy. Uh, I, I want to say one thing before y'all deliberate. Uh, we do need to come to a decision today. Need to need to put it to vote. Uh, we've got inside grates, inside water and sewer. We've got outside uh, uh, some have sewer and outside water, and we have outside with no sewer. And we have a situation where we have sewer, but Persia provides the water. So sewer is not included on everybody's bill. We don't provide sewer to everybody on the, <coughs> uh, on our customer base. So I want you to take that into consideration, but if you need to deliberate now on what we want to do on the leak, leak policy. We need to set the leak policy today. Did everybody get a, get a copy of this? Yeah. This is what we do now. Well, we've discussed this for two months, I know. so I want to make a motion. Uh, I think that we have a leak to what these people have had. If we have to charge for the water, and I feel like if this water is not going into the sewage, that we should help them with the sewage. Uh, we're setting the policy uh, across the board now. We, it would apply to the, these people who came in, but this has to be across the board. Yeah. Have you, excuse me for interrupting. Have you read all this? And bring that copy. Have you read it? Well, what he's saying, we're trying to develop a policy, and we, if we say we need to treat them this way this time, are we going to say that we're, we're changing the policy for general? Just what, what are we saying? So, well, if, I feel like if the water is not going into the sewage, it would get, it's not causing you anything to treat the water if it's not going into the sewage. But uh, now that's my personal belief. Uh, and we could set a amount, a limit on that, like if the bill goes for a hundred over two hundred dollars or whatever, to keep everybody from coming in that has a small leak. Yeah. It has to be up in there, don't it? Yeah. What about a $2,000 leak? I believe you should help with the sewage if that water is. If it's not in sewage. Okay. So you, I'm stuck with the $2,000 bill. I, I mean, I, I'd like to get up and talk at some point, but whenever y'all. Are you done doing what you want to do? And you know, if I would be able to talk, you know, I would love that chance. So there's, is there a motion on the floor? Yeah, I might. It needs to be seconded. Okay, what is your motion? <clears throat> that we help with the sewage only, not with the water part of it, but with the sewage. Define what you mean by help with the bill. Mm -hmm. Are we going to uh, we forgive the sewer back, portion of the bill? No, <coughs> we have to go back three months or two months before and average out their sewage, what part of it is sewage, and charge them that amount for the sewage. Or the, if they're outside the outside the city, if they're not on sewage, they don't get help. But you said there was portions that was outside the head sewer, but we yeah. didn't provide the water, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So they, what about those? Sewage. Yeah. Yeah. is specific enough to even think about giving a second to, to uh, and without a second we can't 
go into the discussion part of it. So, I mean, if you want to rephrase the motion to be specific, then I mean, somebody may give it a second. But it, now the motion was to help with the sewage part of the bill, but not with the water part. And I believe that's pretty much. Okay, you're saying you're saying help with bill is that forgive the sewer portion or forgive all oh, but I mean that's only if water don't go into the sewage. If you have a motor leaking, it's going into the sewage. <coughs> If it busts outside, you know, it's not going to be Well, the only problem I have with that is how are you going to determine whether it's going to the sewer? Is there a way to be absolutely sure? No, yeah, I don't take, think Take the word for it, then. So we'll be, be getting into a discussion with the customer because he'll feel one way and we'll feel another way. And there'll have to be a way to determine who's right or we'll not be making this up. Do we understand his motion? And do we have a second? If not, let's move on. Does anybody have else have any idea? Have you read this? What what has been here? That's what we do now. Yeah, that's what we do today. You know, the challenge comes in is that it's a more clear cut situation when you're in the city and on sewer. That if you're talking about forgiving the sewer portion, which, you know, I would tend to agree with, but you've got people outside of the city <coughs> that don't have a sewer portion of their bill. And we would either have to figure out there's some relief there that we can give them or we treat everybody across the board fairly and it, it's wouldn't be my my preference but there's only there's only one fair way is to make them pay for the water I, I i don't like that but if if you can come up with a a fair relief for people outside of the city that aren't using the sewer then we could consider that I personally don't think they should pay the sewer portion of the leak, but do we not offer any relief for those outside of the city with a leak? And is that <coughs> those is outside that fair? the city wouldn't be charged the sewer? But, uh, $1,963 water bill if I'd like to be able to address that at some point. There's no motion. <laughs> really, really, we're going nowhere and uh, we're going to have to delay this. You've got thing somebody in the month. audience that wants so to make we're a comment. Here for that. <laughs> but we're not, we're not going anywhere with this. Yes, sir. We'll hear from you now. What did you uh, want to say? Uh, I've had, I've had a, a uh, quote unquote uh, leak problem at my property, in my house, since uh, can set this in, sir. Uh, 401 Arrowhead Drive. Um, started out and moved in, and I noticed my water bills were high, around 100, 100. $20 
And I was like, well, I've got a leak somewhere. Obviously, two people's not going to use that kind of water. Uh, so I started fig trying to figure out where I had a leak. Uh, and then it came to my attention that um, I had a shower, my faucet, my shower was leaking. So at that point, um, actually Scott come out and helped me fix it. So then my next bill after that was, I believe $70. And um, me and the lovely ladies at the water department have come to a couple uh, conversations about it. But that was one of my things was uh, trying to figure everything out was uh, where the water bills are held a month behind. Um, my process, you know, my brain process, I get a bill that's for the previous month. That's not how it works. That's fine. Um, and then they informed me of that and made that more knowledgeable. So by the time um, that I would received the $70 water bill, I was um, getting ready to have a $258 water bill. So at that point, um, the last part of that month, I had a um, no longer, in my opinion, a leak. I mean, you go from a $70 water bill to $258 water bill for a two person household. Um, and then by the time I got the $258 water bill, um, that's when I discussed it with her that I had had a leak uh, or you know, a breakage or something separated. So that day I went out and dug up my yard and found that. But where uh, everything's held a month behind, my bill was read for $258 and you guys, you know, you got the computers and stuff, you can see the flow rates of, you know, when it happened. So by the time I received my $258 water bill, they read it after that, after the 12th within, you know, a couple days. And then at, from that point, I was on the books for a $1,963 water bill. So at that point, when they read the $258 water bill, why wasn't it shut off? I mean, that's, I mean, you guys do a heck of a job. Um, and I understand things go missed, um, you know, working all day, long hours. I know I've been there, um, but that's, the $258 water bill, I don't have so much of a problem with because that was up to the point where you got, where the meter had been read. And at that point, it should have been out of my power to make any decision with that water usage. It should have been shut off. And then there should have been, uh, you know, call to me, go to my door, um, you know, whatever. You know, I would have figured it out when I would have had no water pressure, but it was left at that point to run over a month's period of time at eight to 10,000 gallons a day for 37 days. So you tell me how somebody missed three, uh, close to 300,000 gallons of water that went unaccounted for. I mean, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, there's computers, you know, I've been told time and time again that these water meters are state of the art, top of the line, but where, you know, where's their alarm, uh, line going <coughs> to where that's, you know, as a water department or, you know, whether it's an electrical board or anything, there's, there's something that should be in place for this because I've had breakages at my shop. I've had four or $500 water bills where my pipes bust and I never once questioned anybody in the office, I paid the bill because it happened within a two day span. I've got in there, fixed it, paid the bill. Never, never asked for assistance. Um, they set me up on a quote unquote payment plan because you know, having 600 or $2,000 laying around, I don't, um, and, but I never questioned, I paid it. But if that would have kept going until it was, the meter was read and kept going after that, there has to be something involved to where that shouldn't happen. It should have been out of my power at that $258 water bill because I don't know what kind of water usage it takes for a $258 water bill, but I guarantee you my shower and my sink and my dishwasher don't run that much. And then to, to miss almost 300,000 gallons of water is absolutely insane. And to me, um, I don't know who checks this, but, um, 
Also on automatic withdrawal, if I would have had this set up on automatic withdrawal and not checked my bill, I would have been getting wrung out for the past three months. With no notification, no phone call, no note on the door. I mean, I've got a little dog up there. He might bark, but he ain't gonna bite nobody. I mean, you're more than welcome to plaster notes all over the front of my house to keep me from having a $2,000 water bill. <coughs> Let me inject now. What is your name, sir? Kenneth Stapleton. Well, Mr. Stapleton, uh, I really don't think we have an answer for you right now, but we'll, I think we'll have a discussion about this and cut, get back with you or somebody in the water department will. But as of right now, I'm a little confused about what went on with you. Where was your leak at? I, it was in my it was in my yard where we dug it up but I have a natural spring at the bottom of my yard so that's and it's been this happened a uh, couple you know so the bills are behind so uh, two months ago for like two months you know going on so it'd been you know it had been wet anyways it'd been raining and I live in the mountains so I mean I didn't I didn't think anything about it I live I live in a valley I'm closed in. Where was your leak with respect to your meter? Uh, it's on my side of the meter, of course. Okay. Well, like I say, we'll we'll discuss that later and get back. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, that's that's fine uh, because whether it's coming through my meter, it's also going through the you know the the scheduled meters that that divide you know the community. And I, and I say that, and I'm sorry you had this. We will see what we can do about it. Okay. okay. <coughs> now, when we'll we back, I think we probably ought to delay it out for another month to get back to us. We've been folks showing up here for three, four straight months. Yeah, I'm not going to throw out a number. Yeah, I'm not going to throw out a number. But now, and, and the that. rest of you want to pursue this, make a motion, get a second, and okay. we'll go from there. But not, and right now, we're. I'm still confused at the formula there. that we're using to determine who pays the amount, like where you break it down, to give us a certain time frame to, to get it paid. If there is a leak, is that correct? Like you pay fifty dollars or seventy five dollars, or payment plan. Yeah, payment payment plan. Payment plan. So what, what's the distinction to... as to the amount that would pay fifty and the amount that would pay whatever? <laughs> the size of the water bill. The size of the water. Yeah. So is, I mean, is it like up to five hundred dollars or? Is there a is there an objective amount? That you say it's fifty dollars up to this amount and seventy five. No, over. we don't have a certain amount. It, there's not a certain amount. You know. So that the way we the way we were taught, you pretty much figured it out to where it was paid off by the end of the fiscal year. Okay. Whenever okay. that was kind of the the way we were taught. But that being said, so, though, if you got somebody that has a major leak in December, you're not gonna. No. You will. You treat all better like to. the first three or four months of the year. Give them. You've always used that a type of to allow them to to pay up, pay on it throughout the year till the physical year is done. Physical year being June thirtieth or yes. Okay. Yes. Do we have any type of policy if you drive by and check through the <coughs> meter and it's, if uh, there's a leak? Uh, you notify the customer at the time we read the meter yes but we can't go out and check the meters no. on a periodic basis but at the time we read the meter yes if they see it's they see it's a, a, a leap uh, they take action <clears throat> what was the time frame uh, sir mr stapleton that you said that where you went to pay your 200 dollar water bill 200 plus and the time that you dug the yard and that other bill came in. What's when I paid the $258 water bill, that's when I, because <laughs> I, I personally, I go and pay my bills. I don't do automatic withdrawal anymore because right. I've had issues with it. Mm -hmm. So I came to the office and she said, you have a $258 water bill. I called Billy Webb and then with a backhoe, we dug up my yard within 30 minutes. So that same day after you paid the bill. 
and then it was 30 days the next pay uh yeah where it's a month behind they read after you the 12th so the 13th to the 15th right. is when they read so quote unquote they didn't know that i would have you know but at that time i'm using eight to ten thousand gallons a day so I, at that point i was already on the books for a 1963 dollar water bill so we can't determine until the next reading if that's been happening i think where we're standing is we need to as a board we need to decide a first above all, everything else, are we going to give some sort of relief on leaks? And then from there, it would be much easier to come up with a policy. Yeah. Uh, you know, if, we, if we're gonna say no, no relief on leaks, then we've got the policy already. <clears throat> if we're gonna say, we will come up with some relief on leaks, if we say yes to that, then, we have to decide is there going to be relief for folks outside of the city and how is that going to be fixed? Mark, if I could interject. Yes, uh, sir. Can. With the $258 water bill, <coughs> because apparent, uh, you know, with the flow rate of $258, I don't know what that works out to in gallons, but apparently that had happened towards the end of that month and then flowed over into the, the full month. Mm -hmm. So that $258, that would have been the leak to me that you know I paid for and I've paid for them at my shop because it wasn't read up till then. Mm -hmm. So therefore, unless you guys, like you said, are you driving got, around. You've got a whole different situation. Yeah, so I'm, I'm in it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I understand the leak, you know, yeah. the, the help of the leak, but right. I'm determining a month of something that on should have been. On down my list of A, B, C. Yeah, All right, go ahead, be, go ahead, Mark. That, that's not, it would be on down through there that it, other special circumstances like this would have to be considered too. Okay. Um, but I'm just trying, We what what I'm doing is we've been here, I, Mayo, how many months have you been in this meeting? Three. 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 This is three, and we haven't come up with one, what we're gonna do with her bill. And I'm just trying to put some sort of logical sequence together as to what, you know which direction we need to go we, we've hemmed and hawed around about it for three months mm -hmm. and that is definitely not just customer service mm -hmm. like the utilities do they give you a break one time a year we need to set up for something right. Right. But what i'm saying is if to go to the to go to the next level of discussion we need to figure out if we're going to provide any type of relief what to me that only the other sense. uh or do we know what most of the other uh, water folks have been on? Well, I'm not going to mention names because I may be You wrong. don't have to. Uh, some put them on payment plan. Uh, some give them a one-time break a year. I mean, one-time break for Per leaves. calendar, per physical year. Uh, I don't remember it's per calendar year. Or okay, per, most of them are calendar year. Calendar year. On okay. the breaks. On, yeah, some some give sewer breaks. Uh, it's... It's a mixed bag. And we've talked about it over a year ago as far as uh, what all what all can be done, what all should be done or could be done. Uh, and, you know, I still think we need to decide if we're going to pursue any sort of relief. And if we are, then how do we make it fair across the board? Well, Pam's situation is entirely different from Pete's. Yes. There's no comparison oh, I, there. Yeah, that's There's what you're going to run into is yeah. mm -hmm. a and lot of them are going to be unique to mm -hmm. themselves. They're, they're not all the same. Oh, no, I agree. No, that's, mm -hmm. that's what we're... No, but Pam's situation would be more reasonable and well, it, more, you, it gets really like in a, in a winter. It gets really stinky because like Kenny's situation, if he decided to take, if we decided, let's say, to give one break a year and it be whatever percentage off or whatever <coughs> it is, if he elected after that 200, at that $258 water bill time 
to use that as his one time a year. Mm -hmm. yeah, then the nine. next one, what do we do about you know? <laughs> and, and is you know what's the special circumstance there that we would have to look at? Well, if the if it was caught at the two hundred fifty eight dollar, it should have been shut off. And then I could have fixed it because that's what I did anyways. When I found out I had a $258 water bill, I'm not going to keep letting it run. And then I thought I was in the good because I didn't understand, you know, the, the, the month behind. I don't work at the water department. I don't claim to. And, I, you know, I wholeheartedly, you know, these people do their jobs. But, you know, things go missed. But, I mean, to me, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but how many times you guys check your, you know, water boxes annually? But I, you know, I've got a busy, busy schedule. I, I see what you're saying, Kenny. I'm, on, I'm, I'm right there with you. You know, that two hundred fifty-eight dollars could have been over two days, and then, you know, not caught until, or not fixed until on down the road. And you're right. It should have been, you know, when we noticed that. There should have been some sort of. But even if we noticed it for 258, we don't. If a bill's not later behind, we have no authority to cut it out. No, no. But we have probably. Some, but the guys have been. Am I right, guys? You, if you catch a leak like that, you tell them about. It. If you catch a high bill, you tell them about. It. There's there's some sort of notice that goes out. You won't get into it. <laughs> get into what bill? Well, we need to discuss that. Well, let me tell you, let me inject a thought. And I, I feel firmly about this. I still feel like the customer has some responsibility. We can't rely on all the customers depending on us to determine if they've got a leak or not. Now, that's hard to say. But uh, the customer has to bear some responsibility. If he doesn't, we're going to keep running around all over the county reimbursing people for what they how they wasted their water. Or not. It's hard to say, but we need to keep that in mind. I don't see any way around if it goes through the meter that it don't have to be charged. Now, whether we you know we set up a structure to if it's. Two hundred and fifty dollars and down, they have to pay so much a month. If it's a five hundred, or you know, set up a, a structure to allow them to pay it, then you you might as have an indigent person that you know draws five hundred dollars a month. You know, but so that's another situation. Mm -hmm. Now, after I've said that, I realize that. The gentleman in the back has had problems, and I told him we would consider that, but I believe we'll do that. But, and these but ladies have had some cleaners. problems, and we'll do yeah, that. But I still say that it has to be stated that it is the customer's responsibility. And if they come forward with a problem, we will help them deal with that, but we still have to have some policies in place yes, to, without doing what we're doing now and going mm -hmm. month after month trying to settle an issue. So that's why I would like to for you to consider this thing that's in writing here. And if you disagree with any part of it, let's say so. But if you think if you can accept this, we'll go with that and then we'll deal with these other problems after that. I agree we're not getting anywhere. And if you can't do that, we'll just have to move on to another one. <coughs> Any more comments? Bill, let's move on. Okay. Uh, I need permission to go out to bed for the screen down at the uh, wastewater treatment plant. Uh, it's the same type screen that's in it now. Uh, we are, this is a stopgap uh, 
approach. The screen that's down there now is, is failing. Uh, we're going to try to keep it going until we get this screen in. But uh, that uh, the, the actual uh, design is going to be two more two screens up at the head end, and we're hoping to get the grant for that. So I need a, I need to. Uh, I'll make that motion. Okay. Second. Motion in the second. What is your motion? My motion is to allow a bid to be put out for the purchase on this uh, screen at the wastewater treatment plant. Okay. Does everybody understand the motion in the second? What was that? What was that? For that screen. For that. <coughs> for that one. Yeah. Okay, I understand what the motion that is. You're ready to vote. Mm -hmm. All right, call the roll. Aye. Aye. Bill? Aye. Jackie? Aye. Jeff? Aye. Craig? Aye. Okay, so you should have in your packet a, a uh, job description for a superintendent. I'd like to get that approved today so we can go forward with recruitment for a new superintendent. Uh, <coughs> you, uh, I emailed it to you. And uh, I think I've added, I added the second page there. Bill, you asked us to go over it yeah. and in addition to them. I've got okay. okay. I've got some things okay. my my suggestion was on uh -huh. in red uh -huh. Uh -huh. to be considered if not in that time. Okay. I'll read these out. Does anybody else got any? I made a look at here. My job's professional. <laughs> I just wrote mine on paper. <laughs> What what you have given us tonight? I, I if you've given us that before, I didn't get it. Oh, you did. It's, I, I got everything in black on this one. <coughs> oh. So I okay. mean, it may be well, some duplication or not even need to be considered if you've added everything on this one. Okay. That I, my comments are red. I see number one uh, needs to be modified. Number two. Uh, most of it's in the in the uh, description of the work uh, uh, the uh, does anybody else have any comments what else do you have to add Jack? I'm looking at here to direct the plan the future long term use responsible okay uh, that was number four that you got there with the um, budget and the long term mm -hmm. uh, strategic plan that was one of the things that I okay mm -hmm. And um, I don't know if this is something that was regu that's regularly done, but I know you had made a comment that we have obtained grants. Is that part of the position now that that you seek a uh, search for grants, seek grants to help with the, the, this position? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That, well, well, I didn't see that in your side. I didn't know. Okay. Clarity. So add that. <coughs> there are available sources for grant funding was something that I. Uh, the superintendent would work, would work with the agency to uh, develop and, okay. and the engineer to develop grants. Okay. Trying to see you anything about how we could control the financial resources <clears throat> or mark. I'm just not seeing it. Uh, Get 
band number nine, where it says prepare to present a monthly report of financial and operational data to the Rogers Water Commission. And that wording that you just said should be ahead of that. I had it six, maintain the county system. And then I was added. Four. Yeah, either one of those. Number yeah, one, Neil one. gave you his, his number five statement. Covering. No, actually it's number six is what I was adding to that yeah. because what I was saying was it repairs an um, actual um, control of financial resources that you have dual control. Like if you count the money, you don't make the deposit, that type of thing. So yes. that's why you run into the issues that we had prior. Well, then you're in, you're in number six. You're right. Kind of rewarding, rewarding number right. six. All right, what's your pleasure? Let me have, let me have your markups so now. I'll read them to you. Oh, thank you. Oh, here you go. What number did you say, Mark? <coughs> number six. I think what we should do is just give these additions and, and so forth to Bill and let him reformulate this and get it back to us. <coughs> I was just getting, putting those in consideration. And if you see any of the ones that read on here that you don't think should be, let, let him know now and we'll just take it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We need to approve something. Uh, no, we're not going to Okay. Uh, uh, as, I, as I've been tell, talking to you about in the workshops, we need, uh, uh, I need your approval to go through the bid, uh, the bond process. Uh, uh, don't know exactly how, what amount yet. It'll be uh, between one and two million dollars though. Uh, so I need authorization to look into the bond. Make a motion. We approve that you look into a bond, but we can't approve a bond amount tonight. No, no, no. Yeah. And I, well, it, <clears throat> that's not. What you need to do is, is set a ceiling and, and then uh, recommend to the Board of Mayor and Alderman when the, when the figures arrive that, that the bond issue be put forward by the Board of Mayor and Alderman and adopted. You, all, you can't do it. Right. <clears throat> so you just set a ceiling. We recommend that a bond issue not to exceed whatever uh, uh, be uh, proposed to the Board of Mayor and Alderman for adoption. I'll make that my motion. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you mean anyway. That's, that's what I mean anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Did you write all that But we, but we need to <laughs> we need to put a figure on it. Yeah. Yeah. Statement. Is one and a half going to be enough? Uh, I, 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 I'd rather just look at uh, two. So we don't we don't think we have to, to suggest to the board of mayor Oliver that they approve it or get it or use it either one I mean, you don't have to use something just because you got it i'll second that motion motion in a second for to uh what is the motion again <laughs> recommend uh, recommend <laughs> To the Board of Mayor and Alderman, adoption of a bond resolution not to exceed two million dollars water and sewer bond. Very good. Now, do we understand that? Is there more discussion? Any more discussion? Are you ready to vote? Call the roll. Mark. Aye. Eloise. Aye. Bill. Aye. Jackie. Aye. Jackie. Aye. Mark. Aye. Okay. I've got some surplus that I'd like to declare surplus and uh, here's some pictures but there's a ditch witch bucket there's a large air tank uh, there's an explosive container it's a, a box for explosives uh, it's a picture it's some the totes from uh, our uh, from the resin uh, there's a fork truck, there's a, a thousand gallon diesel tank, there's a, a big spray, spray paint spray unit, and a parts washer, 
And I want to add one more to the list. There's some pictures, you know, like pictures that go on. Uh, <coughs> offices. Yeah. There's nine of them up there that's laying in a corner. And I'd like to add them to the to the list. Yeah, that there. is I have nine on the list. Yeah, they're large we office type Walmart. pictures. Walmart pictures. Walmart. 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 <laughs> I don't think you mind the Walmart. Well, maybe you can't sell it. I make a motion we allow Bill to sell these surplus items on Motion and a second to allow Bill to dispense with these items. Any discussion? Pleasure to vote. Mark? Aye. Eloise? Aye. Aye. Jackie? Aye. Craig? Aye. Okay, I've just got one more thing. Uh, Sir Gorns will send us a, a nice letter of appreciation. Uh, they uh, sent it to uh, uh, First UD, Lakeview, and us. And what we did, we, we helped them with uh, a major leap, and it was nice of them to send us that letter. Uh, so that's all I have. Very good. Anything else? Commission. Thank you, Charlie. Anything else? What we're going to do, we're going to have a meeting about this shop type of thing to set a policy because we can't keep coming here doing this over and over. We need to come out and have a discussion. Oh, wait, wait, you say there is one more thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, we need to set a date for the next, but make the next. Uh, uh, it'll be a maintenance building at the uh, shop, mm -hmm. uh, so we need to set a date for that. Can we do that then? Would that be too much? We need to do it at some point. And yeah. Do, and do Get the on with it. leak policy discussion? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So we don't come back in here again with this. Right. I want I want to get I want to get through the budget this time, and I think I can. Okay. So. Uh, what day you want to do it? Weekly. Well, you got to put it in the paper and get the notification. Well, but that's what? Four weeks? Four weeks. No, <laughs> no, no. Two weeks? Uh, we can do it uh, this time next week. That's what we did last time. Uh, okay. I think it's on Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday the 15th. Tuesday the 15th. What time? Nine o'clock. Where at? Maintenance of shop. Is this satisfactory with everybody? Whatever. Yeah. Nine o'clock on the 15th? Is this satisfactory? You're going to get the notice in the paper. <coughs> okay, anything else to come before the commission? <coughs> you ready to go home? Go to the next meeting. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn.